So far, lots of people still don't believe that Tesla is really going to release an affordable Model 2 anytime soon. Most people are saying things like, I'll believe it when I actually see it. But if you're considering buying a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y right now, there's a good chance you might regret it later. This time, we're closer than ever to seeing this car become real. Reports are saying it will launch in just 15 days at a major event in June. It's being released along with the Cyber Cab Rava Taxi and is priced at just $24,990. The Model 2 is basically a simpler version of the Model Y and is expected to offer the best value for the money. It's meant to compete directly with BYD and other budget EVs. It's not a hatchback, but a crossover with features that are better than what you'd expect at this price. If you mostly drive around the city and stay under 300 miles per day, you should wait for the Model 2, it won't disappoint. Ever since Elon Musk mentioned an affordable Tesla two years ago, people have been excited about what the car might offer. Everyone is looking forward to a compact and city-friendly Tesla at an unbeatable price. But it's pretty surprising that the Model 2 still isn't out. There are many theories about the delay. Some believe the Model 2 won't bring in big profits, so Tesla didn't prioritize it. Others think Tesla just hasn't figured out how to build a car for under $30,000. Some people think the Model 2 is just a strategy to push up stock prices and hype from Elon Musk. We used to think that too, but now it looks like those reasons for the delay might just be short-term problems. With production plans changing and supply chain issues mostly sorted, the Model 2 could arrive sooner than expected. It's now confirmed to be launching in the middle of next month, lining up with Elon Musk's earlier comments that a cheaper model would arrive in the first half of the year. So what's the deal with the Model 2? Like we said before, it's not a completely new car design, it's more like a smaller Model Y. Elon Musk and Lars Moravi have said it will be made on the same production line, part of Tesla's goal to build a car that costs less than $30,000. Elon has also said that this will be Tesla's most produced car ever, with production happening faster than the Model Y. To get the price down to $25,000, Tesla has gone very simple with the Model 2's design. The truth is, people used to the Model 3 or Model Y might not like the more basic look and features, but these are the compromises needed to keep the cost low. Let's talk about the battery because it's the most important part of how Tesla is making the Model 2 affordable. Believe it or not, they've created a battery pack that costs only around $2,500. That's real. The Model 2 won't use the larger 65 or 75 kilowatt-hour battery packs that many expected. According to recent reports from Tesla Newswire, the Model 2 will use a smaller battery, likely between 50 and 55 kilowatt hours. That matches what many predicted. Tesla is using one of the lowest cost batteries available, the LFP battery. This kind isn't the best for power or energy storage, but it's cheap and safe, which makes it perfect for the Model 2. Let's be honest, the Model 2 isn't for people looking for high performance. LFP batteries help cut down on costs while still giving decent range and reliability. In fact, the whole battery pack is expected to cost just $2,500, about 10% of the total price of the car. How is that possible? Battery prices have dropped a lot over the last few years. The cost of key materials like lithium carbonate fell from around $70,000 to under $15,000 per ton between 2022 and 2024. In early 2023, LFP batteries cost between $110 and $124 per kilowatt hour, but by 2024, that dropped to around $60 per kilowatt hour. In early 2025, the cost is now closer to $50 per kilowatt hour. At that rate, a 50 kilowatt hours LFP battery pack would only cost Tesla about $2,500 to make. CATL will be the main supplier. It might sound crazy, but the Model 2 can really get up to 300 miles of range, 
which is about the same as the Model 3 or Model Y even with its smaller battery. A 50 kilowatt hour battery usually gives about 250 miles of range, but because the Model 2 is lighter and has a simpler design, it will likely be more aerodynamic and gain an extra 40 miles. Elon Musk has said that 300 miles of range is more than enough for daily driving. Most people don't drive 300 miles without stopping, so the Model 2's range is perfectly fine for everyday use. As a simplified Model Y, the outside of the Model 2 will look pretty similar to its bigger sibling. What people are really wondering is whether Tesla will go with the older Model Y design or the updated one for the Model 2. Many like the new version better, especially with its LED light bar, which is becoming a design trend in Tesla's newer vehicles. If the Model 2 includes this, it could be a cool feature. Across Tesla's lineup, the design focus is clean and modern, and the Model 2 follows that style. It's about 20% smaller than the Model Y, giving it a compact and easy-to-drive feel. Besides being smaller, there's not much new to talk about on the outside. Still, the Model 2 will stand out due to several cost-saving design choices compared to the Model 3 and Model Y. The Model 2 will come with smaller wheels, which could save about $500 per car. It'll use single-pane windows and have just one color ambient lighting strip on the dashboard instead of the 256 color option in other models. Inside, it will seat five people, but with less comfort than the Model 3. It will have cloth seats with no heating or cooling, something Tesla has done before in the base Model 3 to cut $500. The main screen will be between 10 and 12 inches, smaller than the 15-inch one in the Model 3. It won't have a rear screen for passengers, saving another $200 to $500. The touchscreen system will still be easy to use, even if it's smaller. The audio system will also be simpler, likely with 7 to 9 speakers, compared to the 15 speakers and subwoofer in the Model Y AWD, or 9 in the RWD base version. The rear trunk will have a manual lift gate instead of a power one, and the hood will be made of regular metal instead of more expensive materials, all helping to cut costs. Another big point is the Model 2's motor setup. Two years ago, Tesla said they were working on a $1,000 motor for cheaper models, though Elon didn't give many details. The Model 2 would be the perfect car for that project. At a recent earnings meeting, Tesla mentioned using ferret magnets instead of expensive rare earth magnets, which could be connected to this low-cost motor idea. If this works out, the Model 2's motor might be less powerful than those in the Model Y or Model 3, maybe around 200 to 250 horsepower. It could go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6 to 7 seconds, about the same as many affordable compact cars. The Model Y's motor costs about $2,000, so the one in the Model 2 could save $1,000 and help keep the car's price low. We also believe the Model 2 will not include full self-driving, FSD, or will only have the basic version. Tesla will likely only include essential safety features like automatic emergency braking and crash warnings, and not the full camera and sensor setup needed for FSD. That makes sense for a budget-friendly vehicle, as leaving out FSD can save thousands of dollars. With the Model 2 launching next month, this could be a very big move for Tesla, especially since their revenue dropped by 70% in Q1 due to several issues. Many people believe the Model 2 could help turn things around for the company and help it grow again. But unlike what was expected earlier, the Model 2 won't be built at Giga Texas. It will first come out in China and Europe. The main reason is that Tesla will make it at Giga Shanghai, where the Model Y is already being produced super quickly. Lars Moravi said Giga Shanghai can make a Model Y in just 33 seconds. With fewer parts, the Model 2 might be made in about 20 seconds on the same line. Making it in China will also help lower battery costs, since most of Tesla's LFP batteries come from Chinese supplier CATL. This avoids the high taxes of making cars in the US. 
Releasing the Model 2 early in China and Europe is a smart move to keep and grow Tesla's market share, especially in areas where budget electric cars are becoming more popular and Tesla has been losing ground to competitors. Also, buyers in China tend to prefer small, affordable cars, so this new Tesla should do well. In recent news, Elon Musk just confirmed a big step forward in self-driving cars. He posted on X that Tesla has successfully tested fully self-driving Model Y cars on public roads in Austin, Texas without anyone in the driver's seat, and there were no problems. More exciting is that Musk said Tesla plans to start delivering self-driving cars from the factory to buyers as early as next month, one month earlier than expected. This is a huge moment for Tesla's self-driving plans. Testing in Austin is a good choice because it has different types of traffic and modern infrastructure. The fact that no problems happen during the tests shows how far Tesla has come in self-driving tech. Over the years, Tesla has gone from simple driver assistance like lane keeping and speed control to being able to drive through tough traffic on its own. Testing without a human driver on real roads is a bold move and shows Tesla believes in the safety and reliability of their system. More news, Tesla is moving closer to mass-producing the Tesla Semi by the end of 2025. New Semi parts and frames were seen at the Nevada factory, meaning the company is getting ready to build them. Tesla says the factory will start making the first units later this year and hit full capacity by 2026, aiming to produce 50,000 trucks per year. This is part of Tesla's plan to replace diesel trucks with electric ones and help reduce emissions from freight transportation. To support this, Tesla has resumed buying parts for the semi and cyber cab from China, after trade tensions between the US and China calmed down in May 2025. Earlier high tariffs of up to 145% had paused imports, hurting Tesla's production plans. But with tariffs lowered to 30% from the US and 10% from China, Tesla can now keep its supply chain running and control costs. Finally, Optimus, the Tesla robot, is shaking up the robotics world. It can now learn up to 100 new tasks each day just by watching videos, like YouTube tutorials. This robot, made by Tesla and Elon Musk, can do lots of jobs, from house chores to factory work. Optimus uses one advanced AI system to perform commands like sweeping, cooking, vacuuming, or organizing parts, and it's proving to be very flexible. A big reason for Optimus progress is how it learns. Instead of being programmed step by step, it watches humans do tasks in videos. For example, it can watch a chef cook a steak, practice the task millions of times in a simulated world, and perfect it. This means it can learn simple tasks, like cleaning or stirring, in minutes, faster than any human. People can even teach Optimus directly by showing it what to do, like ironing a shirt, and it will improve with feedback. Optimus can now use both hands, which helps it do harder jobs like sorting parts in a factory without falling or crashing into things. This shows a big improvement in balance and movement. Though it hasn't reached full hand flexibility yet, it's getting closer. Its learning is powered by tech similar to Tesla's self-driving cars, using real-world video to train its brain and pick up new skills fast. What's really groundbreaking is how Optimus shares knowledge. If one robot learns how to do something, like assemble a cyber cab part, that info goes to all other Optimus robots. This means learning grows really fast. For example, if 1000 robots learn one new task each day, the group gains 1000 new skills daily. Tesla showed this in a video of Optimus robots dancing in perfect sync. Optimus runs on a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery, which lasts at least 8 hours, depending on what it's doing. Walking or lifting heavy stuff uses more energy than lighter tasks. While it's great at easy jobs like cleaning, there are concerns about it learning dangerous things if exposed to the wrong content. To prevent that, Tesla could add filters to block harmful videos and only let Optimus learn from safe, verified sources. 
Before Optimus can be sold widely, Tesla still needs to improve the AI, make the hardware stronger, and make sure it works well in all types of places. Elon Musk said Optimus needs about one more year of development to meet high standards, aiming for Q3 2026. On price, the $20,000 goal Musk mentioned has caused debate. That number probably won't happen right away. Experts think Optimus will cost between $40,000 and $50,000 at first in 2026. That makes sense since humanoid robots are a new area and the parts are still expensive. Tesla has to build the supply chain for parts like sensors, motors, and batteries, and many are still made in China, where prices and shipping can change due to global politics. Musk said the $20,000 price might only be possible once Tesla builds 1 million Optimus robots each year, something he thinks could happen by 2029 or 2030. Until then, the higher price is expected but still reflects Optimus value. From fast learning to its use in homes and factories, Optimus could be a game changer. Elon Musk even said Optimus might be Tesla's biggest product ever, with high demand because of its huge potential. In homes, it can do things like cooking and cleaning. In factories, it can build parts and boost efficiency. With fast learning, shared skills, and flexibility, Optimus is set to change both home living and automation forever. Stay tuned to Auto Intel for updates.